Yes, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my free Combinator patch plugin for the new Reason drum sequencer. I want to show you a few of the things it can do. There'll be a link down below to download it. Also a link to my sort of overview of the drum sequencer as a whole. Um, and this is sort of just a thank you for being a subscriber and liking my channel and all of that. Um, and if you want to if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I try and do weekly Reason content. Um, and as technology develops, I try and stay up to date with that. And uh, if you enjoyed this patch, please give us a thumbs up. So here we go. Here's the combinator up here. It's called Drum Sequencer Patch. Again, like I said, there'll be a link down below. Uh, so what's going on here, basically, is just a drum sequencer uh, pretty much cleared out no patterns or anything that's for you to do um, I've labeled the first four instruments just so you can kind of stay on track and then it's above a Kong you can use any presets you want really but the one thing I've done here with this Kong is I made it so that the outputs are set for these four main instruments to different channels uh, different mix channels and then I patched them through this so that um, if you go to the mixer, you'd have a separate channel for the snare, the kick, and the hi-hats, and you could mix them and apply EQ and all that stuff separately, which is what you really want to do for uh, most of your productions. Um, so this will just save you a quick step. Unfortunately, Reason can't save the patching between um, like the Kong and the mixer channel as a preset. So when you do your own, um, you'll have to create mix channels by going create mix channel and then dragging the input to one of these. Um, OK, so that's the first part of what this has done. Uh, but here's where it gets much more interesting. So um, in the drum sequencer, well, actually, I guess I want to open that up again. In the drum sequencer, I've come up with three uh, different, oops, I need a three different, um, four different controls here. So the first knob here, and what we'll do is we'll just open up a pattern just to have something in here. Oops, let's save it first while I mute it. All right, there we go. Um, so now let's put a pattern in and hit play. So the first knob here will select between the eight patterns. So you hit play and it's The second one, uh, the second knob creates, controls this reset step here, uh, which basically almost creates like a glitch type effect. Now, these next two knobs, stutter and shuffle, only work for the first four patterns. Um, because there's only so many options you have here. Uh, so if you want to apply the stutter, the shuffle, be sure to put the patterns that you want to stutter or shuffle on the first four. Uh, so we'll go with like, sure we got pattern two here. And now, and this isn't the best pattern to show this off. Um, let's do this instead. still is a little bit of a wonky pattern. Something more straightforward works much better with this stutter. So you see it basically just changes the loop point, but for simple hip hop type beats, it's really, really, uh, powerful. The more complex your beat gets, the the less well it works, um, especially when you've got more straightforward uh, hi hats. Um, the next knob is just a shuffle, and again, this works in the first four patterns. Um, so you'll see all the way. Um, 
Um, and then finally, we've got hi hat mute, which will just mute this third channel here. It doesn't also it doesn't mute the open hi hat, um, just the closed hi hat. So. So you can quickly get those like breakdown sounds. So go to the link, uh, download this, it's free, enjoy it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much guys.